Oi! Hello there mate, Joel Hansen here and today we are just outside of Toronto and we're going to eat some steak with Mr. Beer Meets Food, Adam Moron. If you don't know him, definitely check out his channel. Uh, so here we are, Texas Longhorn thingy thing right there. So it's a 72 ounce steak challenge. We have to eat a 72 ounce steak with, I think it's two sides. I think it's like uh, some kind of potato side, maybe some corn, something like that. Don't know what else, but we have one hour to complete it. If we do not complete it, it's gonna be 140 bucks. That's a, yeah, that's a heart attack and a half. Luckily, I think the uh, the quid, the quid is I think a little better than Canadian dollar right now. <laughs> so that everybody, let's head on in, see what we can do. Adam, ready for some beef? Nah, it was, that, that was like an Australian after some kind of head injury. That was, that was not English. It's close, close enough. <laughs> God save the queen, let's go eat. Everybody, so here we go. 72 ounces of beef, 72 minutes. So it's 72, not an hour. 72 and 72, plus a big potato and a half a corn. Mr. Beard Meets Food, Adam, you ready? Very nice, as ready as I will ever be. Yes. Wow. That is, that's, that's some enthusiasm right there. Um, would you want to get started? Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, I uh, need a fork, though. <laughs> So uh, I'd say we started the count of five, four, three, got some steak spice. Let's say two and one. Cheers. We got them cooked uh, medium rare, supposed to be medium rare. <laughs> uh, is it the case that in kind of medium rare is well done? Uh, yeah, it's, it's medium rare, actually. <laughs> On the inside. There's no pink. Is there not a dairies? I got some pink. Sabotage. You will sabotage me. I took the bigger one though, so. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today I'm with my good friend Mr. Adam Moran, also known as Beard Meets Food, to take on the 72 in 72 steak challenge at Texas Longhorn in Mississauga, Ontario. So this is in the GTA, Greater Toronto area, so it's in Toronto essentially. So for this challenge, you have to eat a 72 ounce steak in 72 minutes. You also have what they call two sides, but I would only really refer to it as one. It was a small baked potato and then you had to have like the half cob of corn. So it wasn't very big. So with that, let's get into the challenge and see how it goes. I think it seems big in the to me though. It's me. Looking at it. It could be a little bigger in certain Actually, I'm, I think it is, it's probably, it definitely, it definitely is bigger than 72. Maybe it's 72 cooked. Uh, so Adam thought the challenge was bigger than 72 ounces, and at first I was a little skeptical, but in comparing, I do think it was, because I've done other 72 ounce steaks, and this one seemed quite a bit bigger. I have a huge piece of gristle. <laughs> I can't do it. So this is where I could easily make a joke about things being smaller in the UK. However, that being said, I mean with so many different pieces of meat and how much cutting we have done so far and how little we've eaten, yeah, maybe it's bigger. Keep on cutting. I spent <laughs> it's like I spent my entire time cutting the meat. <laughs> what can you do when you let it shoot? Eat beef. So I'm glad me and Adam were finally able to arrange a time to do a challenge together. I would say this collaboration, being me and Mr. Beard Meets Food, it's probably the most requested collaboration that I have had to date, at least for the monumental past. So really glad we were able to get it done, this time in my own country, in my stomping grounds of Canada. So those in the UK know what I said next time, so you know, hey, you might have to uh, keep your eyes open for the future. So we're somewhere about 12 minutes in. 
It's going well. No complaints. Um, how are you? Um, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I think. But it feels it feels bigger than I expected it to be. One thing I will say about this stick is it's very lean. Yeah, it is very lean. Oh, much fun on it, which is a good thing. There's some red. Can I keep the calories now? Adam cares very much about his fitness. <laughs> when they pop and not stand up, you get free adult pay per view. I haven't sampled it yet, though. <laughs> I swear, if Lindsay's watching, I swear I haven't eaten. No, the word was yeah. If you didn't say it didn't sample, you didn't sample it yet. There's a big blob of unedible batter on this piece right there. It won't even cut. <laughs> Technical difficulties. It won't cut. Like it actually won't cut. The meat sweats are kicking in. Now, I don't know if it's from the meat though, or just like from all the hard work. Exercise. This is an unchewable piece. Let's see what happens. <laughs> You're gonna be the first to defeat it though, so I probably can't call it undefeated. Sure again, it's undefeated where we start. Feel your feet! Yeah, he's okay. So he was do 106 hours? Uh 32 minutes. I can do it if it was uh if it was pretty if it was soft. I can do it. <laughs> this is like this grist like this little silver skin. Really hard to chew. Yeah. I gotta try to like take this unedible part away from the meat. It's just not edible. Inedible. Yep. Oi! <laughs> Look at this. I'm actually, you know, this is weird. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to a plain baked potato. <laughs> I'm actually excited to eat. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. The corn's really good. Like, you are so right. There's this like unedible piece. You don't see that so eat it, man. Eat it. This is like unedible. Is it like do I still have to eat it? Like I can't pull it. It's okay, all right. I would eat it if I could. There you go, Adam. You don't have to eat the unedible meat. This is all inedible. It's not like you have to finish it with the bacon center. What? You have to finish the bacon center? Yeah. Oh, you do. You have to finish the sides and then, yeah, the steak. And we're done. Keep it up, Adam. You're doing well. <laughs> One space finish. I'll help you. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. What Joel fails to uh, to remember is that the money for this is all on his credit card. <laughs> So I could fail this on purpose. <laughs> I'm joking. That is true, actually. 
I mean, Adam, if you're not up for the task, I understand. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so we finished that challenge, uh, somewhere about 26 and a half minutes, something like that. Adam's doing really well, he's just finishing up, um, doesn't have too much left. There's like this piece of silver skin which is literally unedible, which they said I don't have to eat. I could eat it, but I don't want to because it's just a choking hazard. Um, so that goes the same for Adam, he doesn't have to eat if there's any silver skin. With that, he's doing really well, we still have... I won't judge. We still have like, uh, I don't know, over 40 some minutes left, so we'll tune on in, watch Adam. Destroy the rest of this challenge. I might get another one actually. <laughs> Wait, God, couldn't we have done an ice cream or something? I offered I have a con I have a contest tomorrow. I mentioned doing an ice cream challenge. Adam said it was too cold. It is Canada. <laughs> you eat the baked potatoes, what's that? I want to put something like Nutella on this. Nutella on potatoes. It's a thing in the, U in, uh, the UK apparently. I won't judge, I've never tried it. You brought the yeah. you brought the Nutella on the nachos with nacho cheese. No, have you? <laughs> yeah, I fucking love it. You're joking, right? No, seriously. I, when I used to, uh, and then, uh, when I didn't, I didn't used to do this. I'd still have like a cheat day, right? At my my girlfriend's house every week, and I would go there, and she'd like melt cheese. Put it on top of nacho. Put Nutella on top. Nutella. <laughs> Damn, boy. I guess that's like sweet and salty, maybe. Kinda. Nobody cheats like the British. I'm telling you. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna do a five-pound ice cream challenge after this. You good for that? I can do that. Deal. <laughs> They gave me dessert. I got a uh, mud pie. It's like a looks like an ice cream cake. I did offer Adam a bite, but I think he's a little busy. Go on, Adam, switch it up. I'll have a second. This is my preferred technique now. <laughs> I use the teeth on the side of my mouth. I've never seen somebody eat corn like that. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a British thing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this poutine better be soft tomorrow. Yeah, first time, right? You're gonna do great poutine tomorrow though. This beef will ready your body for all that poutine. At the very, at the very least, it should mean that I don't my pants on stage. You will this not. Is, this is gonna block me up for a long time. That's dang right. Alright, that, yeah. that cord's done. So, don't even worry about that. We had worries about everything. Boom. Alright everybody, so just finished up that challenge. I want to give a huge thank you to Mr. Beard Meets Food, Adam Moran, for joining me. This has been uh, by very, very popular request. I would say probably the most popular request. So we have the UK, we got Canada, we got that, you know, queen thing going on. So Adam, thanks so much for coming, my friend. What'd you think of the challenge? Uh, yeah, it was, um... I'm just kidding, it was good. It was, it was interesting. Uh, it was well, mostly the texture, I think, um, maybe I uh, would get it rare, like just solid, rare. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was good, it tasted good, yeah. uh, nice and lean. Uh, I wish it had been a mud pie challenge, so because I just ate some almost pie, that was delicious. Yeah, it would have been a little better. But uh, again, huge thanks to Adam. Definitely check out his channel if you're not familiar with him, UK's number one eater. And all his information and stuff is in the description box. So, Adam, thanks again, and uh, we'll see you again shortly. No worries, man. We got it! <laughs> Let's get it. We we get it! <laughs>a huge and extra special thank you to my friend here Mahmood. Mahmood, thanks for coming out watching the challenge. What'd you think? 
Incredible, you're, you're a machine. You're not human. I do what I can, uh, so I want to give a huge thanks to Mahmood. Mahmood was also the official timekeeper today. He killed his job. So uh, thanks for coming by, my friend, and until next time. Of course, man.